Tonight, a Putnam County man mauled by seven dogs says he plans to pursue civil action against their owner after an attack that nearly killed him. That decision comes as the sheriff's office tells us the dog's owner will not be criminally charged. However, those seven dogs will be put down. We'll explain why in a moment. On your side, Robert Bradfield continues his reporting on this case, talking with a canine aggression expert about ways to protect yourself against a similar threat, Robert. Yes, he says a $10 tool could be a lifesaver and suggests having pepper spray with you on any runs or walks in your neighborhood. The victim, meantime, in this case, tells me he does not blame the dogs, but their owner. Reuben Josie knows he has a long road to recovery, receiving these injuries while trying to save his dog from an attack by a group of pit bull mixes in a Satsuma neighborhood. Jacksonville dog behavior specialist Jim Crosby has worked similar and sometimes deadly cases. You don't want to reach in even though your whole body is screaming, I've got to save my dog. Instead, you can wind up and I've worked far too many human fatalities from exactly that happening. He suggests trying to create a barrier between you and the dogs, like Josie's friend who was with him did, using a metal broom to finally get the dogs to let go of their grip. He says pepper spray is a cheap safety tool too. We never expect something bad to happen, but pepper spray is a very effective deterrent to dogs. The dogs, according to the Putnam County Sheriff's Office, had no prior history of aggressive behavior. The owner surrendered them to animal control, but after a 10-day hold, declined to take them back. They are not eligible for adoption, so they will be put down. Crosby says the state of Florida allows owners in some cases to regain custody, but there are costly regulations. He would, for all seven of the dogs, have to have a secure containment built. They would have to be on leashes and muzzles, and he would have to get substantial insurance on each and every one of those dogs. Crosby credits Josie's friend for saving his life putting the situation in perspective, knowing it could have been much worse. If there hadn't been somebody who intervened, we would probably be doing this at a crime scene at his house rather than here. Again, Josie says he is looking at his options for a civil lawsuit. He does not have insurance, so his friends are planning to set up a fundraiser to pay for his medical expenses. I did speak with him today off camera. He says he feels better and hopes to be discharged early next week. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side. What an ordeal he has.